Knott's lead Bears after Hamid and Clark 50s. Nottinghamshire were impressive in their first innings against Warwickshire. Patterson White's lower order 50 helped the side reach 273 before Broad and Chapel struck early to lead the Bears on the ropes at 24 for 2. It quickly got worse for Warwickshire. Rhodes out for 22, Broad back in the wickets after a lean winter, the Bears slumping to 30 for 3. But Danny Briggs and Sam Hain put a stop to all that and took the score past 50, and they stuck it out. Their partnership was solid, the early innings carnage was dispensed with, and the pair took a leaf out of their host's book and set about rebuilding. The same partnership reached three figures for the visitors, the recovery well underway. And by the time they'd reached lunch, the pair had shared 83 runs for the fourth wicket, and Hayne was pressing on towards a half century. The score, 113 for three at the break. Broad struck again for the first wicket after lunch. Danny Briggs, his man, removed LBW for 36. Hayne stuck in there, and his fine knock brought the just reward of a half century. He took 94 balls to get there, and was aided by just five boundaries. So when the Bears looked like they were dragging themselves back into contention, Lyndon James struck to remove Matt Lamb for 76. Warwickshire found their way to 150, but still trailed their hosts by almost 120 runs in the face of some tricky bowling. And the Knotts attack found another breakthrough. Hayne, the prize wicket, fell to Patterson White. Burgess and Bresden offered some resistance though and guided their side towards T. They reached the interval with the score 199 for 6, trailing by 74. A quick blast after the break put the Bears to the sword. Patterson struck to remove Bresnan first, out for 12. He'd follow that up in his next over with the wicket of Burgess. And then, with Dom Sibley absent due to a finger injury, the innings was at an end. Hannon Dalby out for a duck, Warwickshire all out for 201. Sam Hayne was the beacon of hope for Warwickshire, his knock of 72 double that of his closest teammate. Stuart Broad will take heart with his display, three wickets taken for 50 runs, Patterson too impressed. If Warwickshire were going to claw an opening, it would have to be now, and they'd get off to a good start. Slater departed early, LBW to Stone. Hamid and Duckett ensured that would be a false dawn for the Bears though. The two came together to take knots past 50. But they would be separated shortly after reaching the figure. Rhodes the man for the Bears again, Duckett out LBW for 25. Clark and Hamid denied Warwickshire any more inroads, and they began to establish themselves at the crease. They put in an impressive showing, their partnership soon worth 50, as they breached double figures. Hamid was the first of the two to go to his 50, just his fourth boundary of the day taking him to the total. And the final runs of the day saw Clark join him, a single off the eight taken to seal a half century off 67 balls. A maiden over later, not to reach the close. The score, 128 for 2, their dominance re-established, and their lead now an even 200.